Hi friends, it's Dyra. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to show you some hair extensions that I got from Y Wigs. Now these are pre-lubed micro link hair. So I'm showing you what I got in the package. So basically I got the clampers to be able to clamp the beads in once I put them in. And then also some threading needles. Um, and these are used to reapply these extensions because they already came pre-looped and when I start doing um, installing these you'll see what I mean and then the hair that I got these are 20 inch um, I'm trying to zoom that in these are 20 inch uh, kinky hair um, and it, the texture is like really really curly and when I say pre-looped, I mean with micro links, um, when you install them, you have to loop the hair into the tool and apply the beads. These have the beads already attached. So all you have to do is loop the hair through. So this is Deanna. She is my stylist that works here in the salon. So uh, this hair matches her hair um, pretty nicely. So I decided to use her as a model. So the first thing that I had to do, as you can see, I am making sure to um, part her hair out and leave um, some leave out because you do need to cover the beads. You don't want them to show. So a good way to do that is to just set your parting and place your comb on the part and, and move the leave in back so that you can see if it is enough hair to cover the beads so that they are not showing. So um, I left that to the side and I just clipped it. As you can see, I don't really like braiding it because sometimes I like to adjust. So if I need to adjust, I like to have the hair um, to where I can easily get into it. So here, um, I already did the first row. I did the first row off camera because I had never done micro links this way before. So I wanted to uh, kind of get a hang of it before I started recording. So here I'm trying to show you what exactly it, they look like. So as you can see is the hair and then there's a bead already attached to it and the bead is open and the hair is like inside of it. So this little plastic piece is what you're going to use to uh, fish the hair through. As you can see you, you put the hair in and then you pull on the little tab and what that does is allow the plastic piece to bring the hair through the bead and then you just clamp it into place so yeah it's not um that hard to do i haven't decided if i like these better than the um the ones where you apply the bead yourself i have to uh, wait a little bit and see how these work as far as um, reapplying them um, and I will show the process of that as well once it's time for these to move up for her I will show you guys how I reset them and how I reapply uh, with the beads that they sent in the package so I just kept th going through and applying the micro loops through her hair just went row by row um, each bundle brings in about a hundred pieces and I use two bundles in her hair and that will vary for uh, different people her density is not high she doesn't have a lot of strands but her hair is also fine so I had to leave quite a bit of hair out on the side um, in order for it to be able to cover the beads so that they don't show. So I did my best to apply as many as I could in the middle, leaving a fair amount of hair out in the perimeter to make sure that it's covered. And when we get to the end of the video, you'll see exactly how much was left out but yeah that that number of beads that you would need per person varies um, especially uh, with the texture of the hair if you get uh, kinky hair like this um, it is a little bit fuller so it does give you a, a, some lead way but 
if you have um, wavy hair or silkier hair, then you will need to apply more because you will need more hair strands um, to give it a fuller look. So as you, can, as you saw, I lifted it up and you can't see any of the beads, so that's good. So yeah, I just finished going through doing horizontal parting on the back. And then when I got to the top, I started doing diagonal partings because I wanted the hair to fall forward. When applying micro links, you want to make sure that your partings are clean and you want to make sure as you take each little subsection that you don't have any little strands of hair sticking out because they start to loop around the bead and everything starts knotting up and you don't want that. Um, and also it can pull on the client and make it uncomfortable for them so you want to make sure that when you loop them through you get every single strand that you are meant to be in there in the loop um, and the easiest way to do that is to make sure the parting is clean and to make sure that you apply them right at the base so none of the hairs fall out of the bead so I was trying really hard to make sure that I was able to get it really close to the root well not really close to the root um, to clamp it but close to the root when you uh, attach the hair so that you don't have any short pieces sticking out you want to make sure that everything that's in the bead uh, gets clamped into the bead so yeah so just going through making sure to get the bead in properly and give it enough room so that when she pulls it up when she combs her hair and does anything it's not causing her any pain or any discomfort
So here is what I meant by when I said I parted the hair diagonally. So I wanted those pieces of hair to fall towards her face. And I also wanted it to be able to rotate backwards into a high ponytail or whatever it was that she wants to do, uh, whatever different styles, and it wouldn't be an issue. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure it fell towards her face. So I just uh, made sure to part it uh, parallel to um, her hairline. So that's what I'm doing here on the side, just getting those beads in. And then I go up a, a few rows until I get to the top of her head. And then I go back to the, doing them um, in a horizontal pattern. So this is what her hair looked like when I first um, did the install. As you can see, I am combing it through. We did get a little bit of shedding, but she says the shedding has been stopped, uh, which is a good thing, but sometimes it's like that with curly hair. Curly hair was shed for a little bit, um, and that's because of the process of the steam curling it or chemically curling it um, you lose some hairs but once you comb them all out then it should be good after that um, between this time here and what you're about to the footage you're about to see I did apply a few more in um, just to make it a little bit fuller um, you can really tell like it looks full here so we thought that it was good but when she um, wet them to do a wash and go we realized we needed a few more pieces so I did go back in um, and apply a couple of more pieces um, but yeah this is what it looks like when the hair is wet and has product in it it's nice um, they moisturize it blends with her hair very well and then this is what it looks like when the hair dried up a little bit like I said she's my stylist so she was at work so we just <laughs> styled it put product in it and after an hour or so this is what it looked like you can see it frizzed up a little bit and you can actually see those little extra pieces that we put in um, because we did not color those I forgot to tell you guys that we did color the hair black and those extra pieces that we put in we did not so you can actually pick them out but it's cute it looks like a little highlight but yeah the hair frizzed up a little bit to match her hair since she's had the hair in she's been enjoying it in different ways and styles so yeah guys let me know your thoughts on the comments down below make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so also subscribe to my instagram i'll leave it in the description Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one.